Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami prays Pancha Tatvatmakam Krishnam Bhakta Rupa Swarupa Kam Bhaktavataram Bhakta Pyam Namami Bhakta Shakti Kam That in the age of Kali Yuga, the Supreme Personality of Godhead appears in five features. It is called the Pancha Tattva. Krishna and Sri Radharani appear in the one form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Swayam Bhagwan. The original expansion of the Lord, the original spiritual master Sri Balaram appears as Nityananda Prabhu. The incarnation of the Lord, original incarnation, Mahavishnu, also combined with Sadashiva, appears as Sri Adwaita Acharya. The perfect devotee, Sri Narada Muni, appears in this Leela as Sri Thakur, and the Bhakti Shakta, the divine pleasure potency, the energy of the Lord, the supreme energy, Srimati Radharani, appears as Gadadhar Pandit. So Sri Gadadhar is the very embodiment and source of all love and devotion. He is the full manifestation of the Ladini Shakti, Srimati Radharani. Some may ask that Lord Chaitanya is Radha and Krishna in one form. So what is the need for Radharani to appear simultaneously in the other form of Gadadhar Pandit? This transcendental mystery is something wonderful. That is what I have to say. In the sense that Srimati Radharani is unlimited. She is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, non-different than Krishna, who appears in the divine Swarup from which Krishna gets all pleasure. Radha and Krishna are one. Krishna is a supreme enjoyer and Srimati Radharani is a supreme enjoyed. And she expands herself in so many forms and in so many ways simply to give Krishna enjoyment. So it is unlimited. So Gadadhar Pandit is Sri Radharani who has appeared in a very special way simply to give pleasure to Krishna who appeared as Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His father's name was Madhava Mishra. His mother's name was Ratnavati and he had a brother whose name was Vaninath Mishra. From very, very early childhood Gadadhar was best of friends with Nimai, who was the name of Lord Chaitanya at the time. In fact, they were such friends that they were inseparable. They would sleep together at times, they would play together, they would sit together, they would walk together, they would run together. They had such love for one another. As they grew a little older, they both became students. Gadadhar was very, very respectful, very peaceful, completely renounced from anything of this world. From his very birth, he only had one thing in his mind, to chant the names of the Lord, to worship the Lord, and to associate with the devotees of the Lord. He loved to be in seclusion, just to hear and chant the glories of the Lord. He loved to be with the devotees to hear and chant the glories of the Lord. But Nimai, he was very restless in his lila. He wanted to show the world that until one accepts a spiritual master, one cannot have Krishna Bhakti. So although he is God himself, he appeared in such a way that he was always discussing various argumentative subjects. 
and challenging everyone. And as Nimai Pandit, no one could defeat his arguments. So Lord Chaitanya would often question Gadadhar with so many materialistic subjects that it disturbed Gadadhar's mind. He couldn't tolerate thinking or hearing anything but Krishna Katha. So it became very difficult for him to associate with Nimai. But at the same time, it was unbearable for him to not associate with Nimai. So he and all the other devotees headed by Adwaita Acharya, Srivas, Mukunda, they were all praying to Krishna, please make Nimai a devotee. We love him so dearly. We love to look at him. We love to hear the sweetness of his voice. We love to be in his presence. We, we want to do everything for him. But when he speaks, he always challenges with so many material subjects. He's so engrossed in all of these processes of learning. If he becomes a devotee, he could make the whole world chant the holy names of the Lord. Listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.